Hello there everybody, Be Paddy from Across the Shuck and um, back with another wee video today and um, this is on a an oldie but goodie, it's one that I didn't have the Ganzo collection that I was given a, a couple of weeks ago um, for sharpening and whatever so but it's so good a knife that I thought I'm going to do a review on this again, there probably hasn't been one done on these for probably a year or something, it, it was probably one of the first when Ganzo built them heavy and built them strong, there was no Miller Knight or anything, it was just a big heavy knife, um, which is what they built their reputation on because they were a good big heavy knife. And this one is a, a perfect example of what Ganzo was when it came out, and it's it's a cracking knife. And you see, if you're a workman or you want a knife to throw into a, the back of a truck or in a, a glove compartment or in an old toolbox, this you couldn't go past this. This is a cracking knife. I mean, it weighs about 5.3 ounces, you know, for a, for a Ganzo. Um, what's about 151 grams. So it's a heavy big knife. But it's something that you see if you just want to throw in the back of the the, the, the car. Or, or especially in a toolbox, I think it's a handy one. It flips beautifully. It's got a stonewashed blade, which is going to hide anything. Not that this is ever going to be a shower, if you know what I mean. This is mine, with my edge. And may I say... Thank you so much to everybody who responded to my last video um, about my sharpening mishaps. Um, you really warmed my heart and gave me a lot of encouragement, so thank you. But to get back to this wee knife, this is my edge on this now. Uh, I don't know where you can see it. This, this is my wee edge on this now. This is what I normally with a Ganzo. This takes me about you know, 10, 20 minutes. Um, 15, 20. But anyway, let's get back to the knife itself. It's a usual Ganzo, it's got the G-Lock, and it's the Ganzo G717, <laughs> this says OR on it. I was given two of these, one had an orange blade, and one had this blade, and this was the older model blade. Um, this one has the Firebird signature on the back, when it must have just started. So I swapped the, I swapped the scales around, because I wanted the base scales, but I took the newer steel, if you like. So, there we go. Full of nonsense, aren't I? So this rugged G G10 scale, you see, especially if you're working outside in the winter, and um, the winter coming up or wherever you are, if it's there now, you, you wouldn't let go of this. It's absolutely non-slip in your hand. You couldn't get it out of your hand. It's great, absolutely lovely, very, very nice. And like this, like all Gansels, when they first came out, you used to, used to wear your fingers away, trying to get them to, to be, watch this, this is just, I mean, it just drops. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll do it this way, just to see. It just literally drops in. Beautiful, beautiful uh, action on the knife. It's got a rounded spine. Now, whatever these cost at the time, a rounded spine, it's got a bit of jimp in here, which is all right, but you don't need it because it's such a solid knife when you get a hold of it. Um, a wee bit of measurements. It's eight and a quarter inches long, 21 centimetres. The blade cutting length is three and a quarter or 8.5 centimetres and it's about 3.2 mil on the, the blade thickness, 0.6 of an inch. There's no milling out inside here. There's no point me even trying to show you because there's nothing. They're just solid steel liners and your, your G-lock. And this is what G-locks were like. If you, if you didn't have Ganzos in the beginning, I don't think you'll ever know. They, they used to come to you oh, washing board stiff. And you'd spend days trying to loosen them up. Whereas now, after this has been used for, I don't know, many years, this is absolutely lovely. And they're still selling these on Gearbest. And, you know, for, for whatever it is, it's only a few quid. Honestly, I would highly recommend, this is more, I would recommend this for a working man who wants to throw it, a rug that he can just throw into the box and not worry about it. That's what this is. You know what G10 scales are like anyway. You couldn't destroy them if you tried. Um, but the blade stock, the rounded blade stock in a, in a working knife, it's just amazing. Um, and I, I don't want to go on too long about it because I, I really wasn't going to these. I was going to use these for my sharpening videos. Um, but I mean, it takes a really fine edge. I actually even have a bit of paper today. It takes a really fine edge. Uh, I mean, that's just a beautiful knife to keep. I mean, this isn't uh, a let's make do knife. This is a blooming good knife in its own right. You know, it, it doesn't need me to, to, to boast it up. It works well um, and takes a razor edge in no time at all. Great work knife. So, 
just to, for those people who haven't maybe had Ganzos, even the older models, the G models, when you get them, don't worry. After a while, they'll break in, and after a while, they'll break in, and they'll just fall like that. I mean, a just beautiful little knife. I'm a Ganzo fan anyway, as you know, but I just thought I wanted to do that video as quick and short, down and dirty. It's still available. I know I looked in GearVest this morning. They've still got them on GearVest in orange or this lovely, um, what do you call that? I would say it's probably a sand colour. Um, and it's it's just, it's as smooth as you like. Absolutely. Now, I did I did put some oil and all in it when I got it first. And it's, you know, it was still smooth when I got it from uh, David Piper. But that's mine. And uh, this is going to be my work knife. Um as well as a sharpening knife, but definitely my work knife because it's just built to work. Built to work. Built maybe not to carry in your pocket because it's over five ounces. I know a lot of people don't like carrying over five ounces, but it wouldn't bother me to be honest. I wear jeans all the time, so there we go. Pocket clip's not the bit. Well, it's strong. It keeps it in the pocket, don't get me wrong. But there's, there's a fair bit. You've got a fair bit showing out of your pocket. So it's maybe not the best to carry about, um, which is why I use it more as a, as a house knife. There we go. Um, nothing more to say. It's a Ganzo, but it's one of the old Ganzos, and you usually can pick them up cheaper now on Gearbest. Uh, I would recommend it. Just be prepared for your fingers to get a bit wore out. I mean, this is, I don't know, I said, I don't know any, what age it is, but look at that there for centering. It's absolutely spot on. Absolutely spot on down the middle and around its spine. So, have I gone on enough? I think I have, haven't I? I normally do. Thank you so much for watching and again thank you so much for the response to my last video. Um, I have a lovely knife coming up um, on Thursday night now which is going to be my, it was a gift again. I've been so lucky with gifts. Um, it's a Tucson knife. I've seen it, if you've been on my Facebook page you'll have seen it on my Facebook page a lot because I can't get it out of my pocket to be honest with you. So that's coming up on Thursday night and that is a beautiful knife with a very unusual blade shape which is, I'm dreading sharp on it, <laughs> but it's absolutely beautiful. So I'll do another video on Thursday night. I'm going to put this up now anyway. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all my subs. Take care. Bye now. Paddy's out.